Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Review. I hope everybody had a great New Year's and great holidays. And of course, you if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, there is a join button where you can also support the channel as well as uh, affiliate links in the description down below. Another way to support the channel as well. So that getting out of the way, we're going to look at a revolver from the guys at Rock County Armory. Now this revolver has been out for a couple years now. Uh, and I wanted to check it out, so I reached out to them and said, hey, let me try that AL 9.0. 9.0 means it's a 9mm revolver, which is uh, one of my favorite caliber, of course. But I wanted to check it out and see how well 9mm would function on a revolver. Uh, I have shot a few. Uh, a couple of my friends have shot it, so we're going to take a look at it as well, see how well it performs, and just to kind of give you my opinion, what I think, and uh why she should have one of these of course but just like i said before this is the model al 9.0 now it is a six uh capacity cylinder on it uh only specific for nine millimeter so that's all you need uh it does come with uh some moon clips here and again uh six rounds to get two of them and we're gonna try it out here uh, as far as uh, ammunition goes, thank you to the guy Rock Allen for sending ammunition as well for me to test this out. Uh, let's go over the specs here and talk about a little more about this revolver, uh, just specifically uh, what this is all about. So uh, there is a three inch barrel, as you can see, three inches, uh, very compact, well for conceal, also backup gun, uh, specifically a nine millimeter but uh, the overall is three inches here on the barrel. Uh, the overall uh, is 6.75 inches. Uh, overall width is one and a half inches. It does uh, have a nice good feel to it. Uh, the height is gonna be 4.09 inches in height. Uh, the weight is two pounds, so it's fairly light, not heavy, but enough to uh, handle that nine millimeter. <clears throat> Uh, it does have some front sides, which are the fixed ramp uh, with a orange insert here, uh, which we'll talk about that more and what I think of it. Uh, the rear side is adjustable as well here on the back, so you can adjust it to your liking. Uh, uh, the grips, like I said before, nice uh, finger groups here, which is nice. Nice little texture and rubberized so you can get a good handle. It doesn't slip at all. Never had no issues with it as far as the grip goes. Really like it. It's not uh, too over, uh, over molded, I guess you can say. And it fits my hand just great. Uh, it does have a blue finish, uh, black, as you can see. And uh, the trigger pull is about uh, four to six and a half pounds. Of course, this is double action. So you can pull the trigger and you'll get lighter uh you know pull trigger in my opinion and we'll talk about that a little more as we go uh the msrp on these are 699 of course you can find a little cheaper probably a hundred dollars less and you can just look around on the web and see what else uh it is made in the czech republic as you can see right there i don't know if you can see it right there and overall it's pretty nice uh nice ejector here of course you're gonna need the moon clips to be able to eject it of course i've tried it without the moon clips because i forgot it a few uh range sessions that i took it out but i got it today and we're gonna try it out as well see how well it does but you can still take the shells out just a new little, little bit of uh shaking and it'll come out as well so uh, as far as the moon clips you can go to the uh i think the rock island armory and um take those moon clips or you can find some on the internet that is compatible to this uh, revolver as well. All right, so enough talking. Let's take a few shots again. We're gonna do this, uh, less takes here. We got a, a paper tag, a paper target, sorry. Uh, about seven yards here on uh, the range. And thank you to the guys there uh, off the X Training Solutions here in Rutherford, North Carolina. So check this out if you're around. I always appreciate those guys for letting me use the range to do this testing. So. Uh, enough talking let's move the camera this direction and as you can see we got a target right there at seven yards uh we're gonna try some here so six rounds and again we're gonna try it with uh double action first and just kind of see how accurate i can get with the double action pull here all right so here we go
you out. So come out right. All right, what I'm seeing here, I am pulling a little bit to the right. Of course, I'm not too uh, uh, familiar, uh, not familiar as, but not too uh, uh, experienced with revolvers. So it takes me a little bit to get used to the trigger pull, especially with a heavy uh, double action. It is uh, kind of trying to get that break at the right time and uh, be able to take those follow-up shots in perfect. But we do have uh, six rounds. There's one on the bottom uh, and five to the uh, right, I'm sorry. So uh, let's uh, shoot six most rounds here. And we're gonna try with the uh, single action here, uh, one at a time. So the trigger pull is very line of single action, which is nice. So, I can tell a big difference here with the single action, pulling the hammer one at a time. I am getting a better group in the center mass. Uh, but again, practice makes better. And of course, we are a better shooter with the single action, of course. Uh, more uh, precise shots than the, uh, you know, double action, of course. So, uh Let's uh, pause it, step over here, take a little closer look at the target, so what I'm talking about, and then we'll continue shooting, so stay tuned. All right, guys, as you can see, the target here at seven yards. Again, my double action, I pulled that one. One, two, three, four, five, and six right here. That was my first six rounds. And then single action, I was more accurate, of course. Like I said before, you can get those shot more accurate. So there you go, six round, pretty good at seven yards. In my opinion so we're gonna shoot that other target there so a little farther up about 10 yards and see what kind of accuracy we get again so stay tuned all right guys we're back we're in front of the other target here about 10 yards we're gonna take a few shots uh i did bring some different ammunition trials as well one thing i noticed is with the aluminum casings here that i got from uh i think i can't remember where i got it from but they will not stay on the moon clip so that's a bummer so depending uh, on what type of uh, case and ammunition you use, uh, if you use aluminum, of course, the uh, diameter on the uh, on the casing on the back side here, whatever you call it, it doesn't wanna doesn't wanna stay. So that's a no. So we're gonna load them one at a time. Use them that way. Of course, it's gonna take a little more uh, work to get them out once we shoot them. So. Make sure they are seated in there. One thing I did see is that it is a little tighter fit, but uh, let's give it a shot here. All right, let's do double action fair at 10 yards. See how well kind of grouping we get here. There you go. All right. Notice that we're not able to get the revolver to work here. All right, so we're having an issue here. As you can see, this is my first try on this type of ammunition. I do have some brass ammunition, but the fitting with the rounds and cylinder is real tight. It doesn't want to move the cylinder to uh, discharge the, uh, you really got to pull hard to really get it going. All right, so that's not working. Let's uh, eject those rounds. Like I said, it's gonna take some force to get them out. And we got four now, one casing is already fired. So there you go. It's not coming out. So I have to get a rod and uh, push them out. So there you go. One thing about trying this stuff is uh, see if it works or not. So aluminum cases, not a go on the revolver here. So let's change out the ammunition and try some more brass. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back again. Now we got the brass 
rounds. As you can see, it worked just fine with the moon click, like I was saying. So, all right, let's try again. Uh, go do single action here. Just fine, objective just fine. Now let's do double action now. It's a little bit over the place, but again, uh, still within the circle. Let's come over here and take a look at it. Stay tuned. All right, here is the target at 10 yards again. Single action and double action. Again, single action is more accurate. You can see it better tie the group than the double action. But once you get used to it again to find a break, uh, you can get more better accurate shots. But on that, it functions just well. And yeah. Got one up here, that pool, and one other bottom. So yeah, let's continue shooting. All right, let's shoot the sixth round with the moon clips. Another one here, and kind of do a speed load, I guess you can call it. I don't have a holster or anything like that, so I got the uh, moon clip here on the table. So we're just gonna shoot and see uh, how fast we can do a reload with the moon clip here, just for fun. So again, I'm not an expert, but here we go. like it again uh the trigger is very nice uh at a single action of course but uh the double action it is a little bit heavier again on the website they call it for six pounds uh so it's fairly heavy just like any uh any revolver out there just about and uh other than that if you do your part uh it's very nice let's shoot a couple more rounds and then give my final opinion what i think so stay tuned all right, guys, you see the AL 9.0 revolver from Rock Island Armory. Again, it's made in the Czech Republic. And, of course, take into consideration if you don't like imported firearms. So, revolver overall, nice shooter, great pistol, worked just fine. Again, you see certain ammunitions like the aluminum casings will not fit well in there. It makes it a tight fit, and it keeps it from rotating the cylinder and firing. So, take that into consideration. So, just run the brass ammunition. As far as hollow point, I'm sure it works just fine. I have tried a couple hollow points, uh, rounds in it, of course, brass casing, and it works just fine again. Uh, you can be very accurate at a, uh, with a single action again. Uh, very nice light trigger in a single action. Double action, of course, is going to be a little bit heavier. You just got to find a sweet spot and know when it breaks when the round fires. So, overall, nice revolver, nice finish. Uh, very accurate as long as you do your part again. I like the fact it's got uh, serrations on top for anti-glare, which I don't understand that. Now firearms do that a lot lately, which I never get no glare on the firearms. But other than that, um, everything looks to seem working fine. I like the grip texture uh, of the rubberized grip here. Gives you a nice high purchase. Be able to control the revolver real nice. Again, it's nine millimeter, it's not real, uh, you know, hard to shoot of course but <clears throat> with practice you can get very accurate with this revolver now what would you need a revolver uh just for the nightstand i know you cannot attach no lights and everything uh but it's a great backup gun for your truck uh your vehicle maybe just to take out uh you know out in the woods uh for protection as a backup uh not to worry about magazine i know capacity is a thing but six round nine millimeter again is better than none at all but as far as the sight goes there are good sights um the capability of adjustment on the rear 
you can really pick up this front side. The only thing is that I don't like is it's a real tall side and you really have to kind of compensate a little bit down uh, to, you know, alignment with the rear. And I, I wish, and I think you may be able to change this, but it was a little bit lower and probably uh, to me a great co win as you can see, it's a little bit taller than the rear. <clears throat> and you have to aim just a little bit lower to, you know, align everything up. Other than that, that's the only con I have by this revolver. Uh, of course, you have to have the moon clips, which you get two of them in six rounds of uh, nine millimeter here. In my opinion, it's a great revolver for backup. Uh, not have to worry about jamming or anything like that. Um, you know it's gonna go bang every time. And again, uh, with practice, you can get very accurate with this. But other than that, I really like it. Um, you know, there's other models out there, other companies that started making uh, revolvers in nine millimeter. Of course, you got your common other revolvers, 357, 30 Special, and all that good stuff. But again, everybody got their own preference when it comes to revolvers. But in my opinion, I have plenty of nine millimeter and I can definitely keep this running with uh, nine millimeter uh, ammunition availability out there. So that's a good thing. So nine millimeter is my favorite line, of course. So I really like nine millimeter. So other than that, I think it's a great revolver for the MSRP or 699. I guess you can find this a little bit cheaper, probably a hundred dollars less. You just have to look around. Uh, <clears throat> but all of that, this is the uh, model AL 9.0 for Rock Island. And of course, I appreciate Rock Island for sending the revolver for me to test it out. I really enjoy shooting it. Uh, and I really think it'll be a great backup or just a nice stand or, you know, throw in the glove compartment in your vehicle or just go camping or hunting, whatever. It'll be a great uh, revolver and it will fire at anything uh, you throw in it and it works just fine. So, <laughs> all right, guys, as far as the moon clips and everything, you have to check online what is compatible to this revolver again. Uh, go to Rock Island and shoot them an email. I'm sure they can tell you where to get them from or get them directly from them. But other than that, that's pretty much it. That's all I got. I hope you liked the video. I hope you like everything you see here. If you're new to the channel again, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on all social medias, especially Instagram. That's where you can find me, uh, you know, posting um, upcoming videos and products that I'll be reviewing. And uh, best way to contact me if you have any questions or anything else, uh, just follow me over there. Of course, check out my Facebook page, like it, share all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on TikTok, which, you know, TikTok is getting a little crazy right now. But <laughs> follow me on all social media, I'm pretty much everywhere. Parlor and also Utreon. Check out Utreon, it's another uh, platform like YouTube here that is more gun friendly. Uh, and a lot of other YouTubers have moving over there as well, putting their content where it's more gun friendly. You can show more than you do here on YouTube. So guys, that's pretty much it. Make sure the link, check the links down below. That's the best way to support channel as usual. There is a join button. That's another way to support channels. Doesn't cost you anything to use affiliate links and coupon codes. That's the best way to save you money. And also check out Rock Island as usual and more to come from them in the future. So tell me down below if you uh, have one of these AL 9.0 or anything else from Rock Island. And tell me your experience, what you think about them, and will you get one of these revolvers in 9mm. So guys, as usual, thank you for watching, and I'll see you the next one. Goodbye.